Hello YouTube, it is Saturday, September 2nd, 2023, 4.35 p.m. And I am trying to get down to U-Store to get my storage paid. Um, you know, I've had all day to go down there and I've been awake most of the day. Just um, typical me, putting shit off until the last moment because I don't want to get out of my comfortable bedroom. It may be messy, it may look atrocious to everybody else, but I am in a space of comfort and safety when I'm in that room. I've got very fast Wi-Fi, I've got loads of charging uh, cables for all my various smartphones, and I've got a long auxiliary cable that runs to my receiver to an eighth inch stereo plug so I can plug into anything except for my iPhone 7 Plus which is the first generation of iPhones to not include analog headphone jacks and you know lately I was kind of thinking and I mentioned in my blog yesterday that I was at the bank and I was really struggling trying to find the email where Bev Ann had wrote me what my total price is so I knew what to put on this money order for my storage and it was just because the current version of the Gmail app, it doesn't work well anymore on iPhone 6S Plus or an iPhone 7 Plus. And whatever the version of uh, iOS, which is now an older version of iOS that is running on it. On that note, definitely a newer one on the 6S Plus than on the 7 Plus. The 7 Plus, since I've got it working again, it keeps trying to update itself, but every time it goes to try to do that, I'm either not plugged in or I'm not on Wi-Fi or I'm actively using the phone. It's like, oh, unable to update. There's gotta be a way to adjust that and do it manually because it, by default, it tries to do it at a time when normal people are asleep and have their phone sitting on a charger. And, and I'm not normal people. I was thinking about that and it, it occurred to me that, wow, I'm not really ready to move forward to an iPhone that doesn't have a physical home button and doesn't have a headphone jack. And then after that, it occurred to me that, oh shit, I already have an iPhone that doesn't have a physical headphone jack. And then I was thinking, damn, I, I, I haven't been as impacted by that as I really thought it was going to be. And then wouldn't you know it, just the next day, a few hours ago, I'm in my bedroom and I'm Snapchatting somebody about Jimmy Buffett. By the way, in case you haven't heard, Jimmy Buffett died in his sleep night before last. Uh, it went public, at least I got the memo right after I got home from the bar. And nobody was talking about it at the bar and that's definitely something that, that would have like been right on target for the, the demographic over at um, at Wander Inn. So, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I got a pretty quick alert. I actually had an alert from the Washington Post about that. So moments like that, I'm actually glad I'm still on their alert list because most of the Washington Post's content is hot garbage. But, but they did a really nice article. Um, sort of an obituary of sorts. For Jimmy Buffett and I thoroughly enjoyed and appreciated that article but yeah I was messaging somebody on snapchat about the passing of Jimmy Buffett and it just occurred to me that yeah I, I really really need to hear come Monday right now and I start playing it on the iPhone 7 plus which is what I was using messaging that person and I'm using the 7 Plus way more than the 6S Plus, even though the 6S Plus is the one with an active SIM card on it, just because the 6S Plus still has some serious screen issues, and sometimes it's very difficult to use because of it, whereas the 7 Plus has a brand new screen that is working perfectly. And one of my big, like, I had said I was not gonna go back to either the place up on 16th Street or back to Al in Tempe, but, Ultimately, I decided to go with the shop over on 16th Street because A, better the devil you know, 
than going to an unknown and, and God knows how bad that could turn out. And in thinking back over the service I've got from both places, the last two iPhone 6s screens that I got from Al had issues with the screen itself, which leads me to believe that wherever he's getting his parts, they're just substandard quality parts. Whereas every screen I've ever got from the shop at 16th Street worked phenomenally up until the point where there was some other issue. So, um, yeah, no issues at all with the screen on the 7 Plus. And um, anyway, yeah, I go to I go to plug in the auxiliary cord so I can listen to it on on my sound system in my bedroom, which which is atrocious as that room looks. The sound in that room is really, really on point. It's really good. I put a lot of effort into that system and. And even though it was done on a shoestring budget, the, the sound is on point in there. And it's perfectly imaged for like where I'm sitting in the middle of the mess on my mattress. Listening to Come Monday as I'm mourning Jimmy Buffett. Yeah, iPhone speaker not going to cut it. I need to hear music. Like I, I can listen to podcasts and voice recordings all day long on a smartphone speaker. I'm fine with that. But for music, especially music that means something to me, nah. That, that's got to be on, on a real sound system. And I go to plug into the cord to the 7 Plus and I'm like, suddenly reminded, oh shit, this doesn't have a headphone jack. That sucks. Well, that was nice. I actually hung out and talked to Bev for a while. I, I like her. She's, uh, I feel she's a very misunderstood person. I really like hanging out with her and talking to her. So uh, storage paid for another month. I really am spending too much for storage, and it's not that I'm spending too much for storage per se, that's probably the best deal I'm going to find anywhere in the valley, but when I consider the value of everything that I have in storage and how much I'm spending per year to store it, yeah, those numbers aren't good, just saying, but maybe I can find the time. In, in the coming months, as the weather starts to cool down, to start consolidating some of that and, and getting rid of some of the stuff that really doesn't have any value anymore. So I'm thinking tonight at karaoke, there's going to be a lot of people arguing over who gets to sing Margaritaville. And it makes me sad that to most people when they hear Jimmy Buffett, or should I say when they hear the name Jimmy Buffett, Margaritaville is all they think of. Not to say that Margaritaville is a bad song. I honestly think Margaritaville is a good song, but it's also kind of a mediocre song. And Jimmy Buffett as an artist has a lot of songs that are absolutely great songs, such as A Pirate Looks at 40 or He Went to Paris, just to name two. Anyway, I think tonight, now granted, if Winolo gives me some work, I'm going to work. Because I like money. The famous words of Mr. Krabs, I like money. But, I'm, for some reason, I'm just not getting shit from, uh, from Winolo this weekend, which is surprising me. Apparently, I've upset its algorithm. So I think tonight, tonight's going to be a good night to dig deep, or at least deeper, into the Jimmy Buffett catalog and uh, have fun with it in karaoke. And, and as I'm recording this, I'm thinking to myself, it's probably going to be over a month until this gets put on YouTube. And it's not going to be as relevant by the time it gets put on YouTube. People aren't going to be searching, Jimmy Buffett just died, like they are right now. Certainly my my mediocre tribute on my vlog to Tony Bennett got overlooked because, you know, it hit six weeks too late. But it's actually kind of motivation to um, put together a little karaoke studio in my living room, which I've been talking about doing for quite some time. That way I can record covers of songs. And, and, and this vlog is gonna get posted in 
consecutive or chronological order, just like all my vlogs do. But I'm thinking it would be nice to do tributes to artists that matter to me shortly after they pass. Which is something that's been a regular feature of my karaoke show since it started. I think it'd be nice to do that in my YouTube channel and just release those, you know, as as they're timely. So that's something I'm thinking about right now. Anyway, going inside to get a big gulp in 7-Eleven. I'm done with Circle K Sip and Save. I'm done with poorly maintained Circle K soda fountains. I'd just rather pay for what I actually consume and not speculate on what I'm going to spend per month and come into 7-Eleven and uh, use my points on the 7-Eleven app. Most of the time I love the music they play on KWSS and it's not that I haven't been aware of it, but I've never really listened to it since I've been aware of it, but KWSS which is notorious for having a really weak FM signal. They're on two different frequencies, both low power FM. It comes in pretty good in this neighborhood, but most places I go, it just statics out and goes to crap. They have an HD radio signal that's really clean and really strong. They're on 94.5 FM HD2, which is K-O-O-L FM. They don't really go by Cool FM anymore. Nowadays, they're HD1 and they're Analog FM. They call themselves Big 94.5. That station's gone through an interesting evolution in programming since I listened to it as a kid in the late 70s, early 80s. But that's a uh, different story for a different time. But yeah, I've actually started listening to and seeking it out during my little three minute drives around the lot, working for uh, working for Hertz with MLS. And KWSS on HD radio just sounds so good. It's just totally clean. And I was chatting with a friend of mine who regularly listens to that station. In fact, it's him who turned me on to the station. And he, I commented that, you know, damn, that was really nice to hear it, like, all clean and, in you know, all clean digital signal. And he responded that he's pretty sure that they stream from their website. To which I replied, yeah, but if I'm in a position to stream them from their website, I'm probably going to be listening to something else. Because for me, radio is about something to listen to when you're occupied and can't really be actively messing with a computer or the device you would stream from. And besides, when it comes to streaming with mobile phones, I, I never have enough data between both of my phones to get me through the month. So yeah, I, I, I'm not streaming something that's broadcast. That's not happening. Anyway, it's really had me thinking about getting a, a, a some kind of an HD radio for my Saturn. Although I've also been thinking a lot about getting XM radio for my satellite because I, I mostly listen to SXM satellite radio when I'm moving to cars. 93.9, 99.5. Lines are down. What about the satellite? Is it snowing in space? Don't you have some kind of a line that you keep open for emergencies or for celebrities? I'm, I'm a celebrity in an emergency. Can you catch me through on that line, please? KWSS. I see they didn't even mention 94.5 FM HD2. Now, they always mention it on their legal ID because they're legally obligated to per FCC rules, but very rarely do they mention that they're at 94.5 FM HD2. And that's because the average person, I don't think, has a concept of what HD radio is. On that note, I've got a rather nice HD radio component tuner in my bedroom, but I haven't listened to that thing in many, many months. It might actually still be hooked up. 
I'm gonna go inside and mess with that. Today's a good day for that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming with me on the drive.